guys, it's Patricia. Today I'm filming my melting basket for the month of August. I have a bunch of stuff in here. This is stuff that I want to pull from, from and, you know, warm through, but doesn't necessarily mean I want to finish it all. But I'm going to give it a, my best effort. And this is a lot of wax, so I definitely won't get through it all, but just something for me to kind of pick from. I'm going to finish up the light side of the force. I have three cubes left. The most beautiful blue colored wax there. Also a blue wax. I'm going to finish up Make Waves. That is March 2019, cent of the month, I believe. And I, with just two cubes left, I bring back my bar that I carried over from last month, Melon and Apple Granita. I grabbed Apple Cherry Strudel, full bar. Hug in a mug. This is returning starting August 1st, so that's nice. Full bar. Full bar, and you can kind of see some discoloration here. Jammy time. This is an older bar. You can tell because the bicycle's there. Uh, I, I can see a poor date, but I can't read it. And in case you're wondering, it kind of runs across here, inscribed in the plastic. It's hard to pick up. I would like to warm a full bar of Clean Breeze. Maybe not finish it all, but at least give it a start. Now, some of these I pulled because they were sweaty, and now they don't seem to be sweaty. This one's a little bit. And we finally got our, oh, this one's very sweaty. That's the hug in the mud. Anyway, I went through and pulled some sweaty bars to warm. So a lot of these are sweaty. Hustle, sweaty. Yeah, I really like Hustle. It's one of my favorite fresh aquatic scents. I wish I would have put that in my club and kept it there, but I didn't. <laughs> We're all, we're all mad here. This is a fairly new bar, but it's starting to go sweaty. Yeah, this is very close to blizzard berry, I feel. Kind of blizzard berry, berry, cosmo boogie kind of influence. One of my favorites, lime and sugar cane. Again, discolored bar, and this one is sweaty. So it's time for it to go. Some partial bars I want to finish up. I have six cubes of rainbow berry. That was from the Fantasy Wax Collection. Six bars of All You Need Is Love. I said six bars, six cubes. <laughs> six cubes. Jack's Obsession. Spoiler alert, this one's coming back in the fall. Not right away. You have to be a little patient. This is very green apple spice cider type scent to me. And from the Frozen 2 Collection, Born to Lead, I have six cubes. Thunderstorm. I have three cubes left. I love the color of the packaging. My family's not crazy about that one. <laughs> They're also not crazy about this one. I'm okay with it. Three cubes left of beach. Yeah, it's very different and it's a strong scent. It's a great performer. Speaking of beach, we have four cubes left of Rio Beach. And this is a really nice one. This is a Patricia bedroom scent. This is really nice. It's not super strong, but man, I enjoy that here in my bedroom. This will probably be warmed in my open concept layout, maybe diluted with something else. Let me see what I've got in here to dilute it. I'm going to warm Simply Rose and I'm going to cut it with some fresh cut grass. So I have, so yeah, I'll do two to one ratio and probably get I'll probably put those in my overnight warmers uh, so that I don't have to smell as much because I'm not a big rose fan. I think I like if someone were to give me roses, but then I wouldn't be smelling it the whole time. So let's do some scents of the month or what ones used to be scents of the month. One of my favorites, Summer Rain, a nice, fresh, bright, almost like a sister to Thunderstorm, but very like the calm sister. This one is Christmas Cuddles. This is not a favorite of a lot of people. <laughs> I don't mind it so much. But yeah, it's a, it's a strange scent. I can see why people wouldn't like it. It smells like chocolate cherries with brandy. And that is not what the scent description says. But this is a good performer. I think I'll put this on the days I have to go to work. Because <laughs> it lasts a couple of days at least in my open zone. So I'm going to work on another aloe vera and ivy. That one is not really at my scent alley. But uh, there's a note in there. It kind of throws me off a little bit. And I wish I got watermelon, but I don't. Uh, I have four cubes left. I'll see what I can do on this one. It's cashmere. A very soapy, aquatic, not aquatic, exotic kind of fragrance. And I have two little lonely cubes of banana nut bread. And my son calls this banana dirt bread, so I won't be warming this anywhere <laughs> around him because he just constantly complains about this one. He really doesn't like it. All right. 
let's let's go through some bring back my bars I'm gonna work on some of them are sweaty and some of these I, I know this one I did not purchase myself I got it from a Scentsy drug deal woodland suede really like that one in my uh, TV room type area this one is a recent bring back my bar grape granita four cubes left and some of these are older we have caramel pear crisp yeah, this one's sweaty. So I, what I did was I went through and grabbed sweaty ones. I don't have a lot of sweaty bars, but most of the sweaty bars I have, I did not purchase myself. So I don't know what happened, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Lime Sublime. It's like a little bit lighter green color. Yeah, I just don't want some of these like citrus scents. They can change after a while. So I, I tend to try to, you know, a lot of times going by, you'll probably want to warm your citrus scents. I have an old bar from 2017, cranberry bread, full. Hmm, yeah, I can definitely smell cranberry. That's nice. And just to kind of compare, we have cranberry muffin. Full bar, old packaging. Yeah, this one smells lighter and brighter. Almost like there's a citrus uh, highlight note in there. And we have some bars from International Wax Collection I want to warm through to see if I want to keep them in my Scentsy Club. I have strawberry and rock melon, full bar. Window sill breeze, full bar. Those would be great for my open concept by the cold sniff. They smell nice and strong. When you smell something on cold sniff and it's not super strong, you want to kind of judge where you're going to warm it. So this one here is Pacific Sandalwood. On cold sniff, this is like a light to medium. So would I try warming this in my open concept space first, which is extremely challenging? No, <laughs> I'm going to warm it here in my bedroom, which I kind of consider a testing zone. If it struggles here in my bedroom, then I'm going to transfer it to a smaller zone. And if it does great here in my bedroom, then I'm going to try it in a bigger area. Oh, this scent, oh my friggin' Lord. It is so nice. I can't wait to warm it. And Lucky Star Fruit, a beautiful yellow wax. Light again. So will I be warming this in my big zone to start? Definitely not. That's almost for me, that would be asking to waste my wax. So I'm gonna test it here in my bedroom, see how it does, and disperse it accordingly. So that is Lucky Star Fruit. So there you go. Thanks for spending the last eight minutes with me. I hope you guys have a great day in your neck of the woods. Are you guys excited about the fall and winter scents coming? To me, I'm probably not gonna heavily get into them until September, because that's still kind of when I consider fall back to school time. I hope you guys are staying safe and keeping your distance, washing your hands, and wearing your masks, and I will see you guys in the next video.